family just went live. Abigail and I are going to share our live video with as many people as we can before we kind of kick things off. But for anyone that's joining us right at the beginning, nice to see you and we see you. <laughs> we're happy that you're here. Just one moment, sit tight and we're going to get this party started. Okay, Abigail, we've posted everywhere in the groups and places that I can think of, so how Great. would you like to go? Go ahead and welcome the people that are with us already and kind of get this going. So, totally. Okay, welcome to the one within all to a guided medica medication. <laughs> it is the medication. <laughs> right, right. This is the magical, mystical Abigail Pomeroy, the maiden of meditation, hooper of Hyrule and good friend to many. Abigail and I just got to connect in person for the first time at Backwoods Music Festival and we became instant friends as soon as we actually just talked online. So really happy that we're collaborating here today to do a guided meditation and I'm gonna let Abby take it away and tell us a little bit about what's going on while I bring this, um, this background music down. Thank you all for joining me here today. Um... We are going to open up with some just basic movements and stretches just to kind of open the body up to receive and to just kind of help us settle into the space because there's actually a, a, a beautiful thing about uh, postures and yoga and stretching. One of the main reasons it was actually created was to help us sit in meditation for longer periods of time. Um, so yeah. We're going to go ahead and get started with that. <clears throat> I'd love it if anyone with us can confirm that they can hear both of us pretty clearly as well, yeah. but especially yeah. Abigail, because she'll be doing the guidance here. And we have a little bit of a time delay, so we've got to watch out and wait for that response. But I think we'll see it in a second, because I do think that we're coming through loud and clear. But my last live stream, I actually made a mistake of getting ahead of myself without double checking that. So. Okay. Live and learn. Yeah, sure. So how you doing recovering from the wook flu that struck us all? Yeah, how's everyone doing with that? I I got my tissues handy. I, I recommend uh, getting some tissues because we are going to be doing some breathing techniques that kind of help clear out the cavities from our wook flu. <laughs> oh man, yeah, I know what that's like getting into a breathing technique and all of a sudden some phlegm starts happening and you're like, man, what? Why does it have to be now? But it's actually because you're clearing it out. The channel yeah. is getting opened up. Yeah. Well, they so can hear us both, so we're good to go. Okay, great. Yeah, well, we're gonna go ahead and get started with just some simple neck rolling techniques. You can either keep your eyes open or closed. I personally like to keep my eyes closed for a more inward experience. So just making full rotations in the head and neck. Like you're drawing a big, complete circle above the head. And feel free to add some deep breathing to this movement as well. And then we're going to switch directions, start going the other way. I'm just really feeling into sensations that arise from each movement. We're going to get one more rotation here. And 
Very beautiful. And now we're going to drop our right ear down towards our right shoulder to create an opening in the left side of the neck and shoulder area. And let's go ahead and reconnect with that deep breathing again. And now dropping the head down towards the right armpit, breathing here for a moment. And then dropping your chin down the sternum. And then go ahead and place your right palm on your forehead and gently push your head back up. And now we're going to do the other side, left ear down towards left shoulder. And again, reconnecting with that conscious breath. And now dropping the head towards the left armpit. And now dropping the chin down the chest, breathing here. Placing the left palm on the forehead, gently pushing that head back up. And now we're going to invite some spinal articulation here. It's called the seated cat cow series. You may be familiar with this if you practice yoga. Typically it's done on hands and knees, but we're just going to do it in a seated position today just to keep things really simple. So on your inhale, you're going to reach the shoulder blades back and open through the heart. And on your exhale, rounding the back, maybe pushing the arms out, dropping the head. Inhale, opening through the heart. Exhale, rounding, bringing the heart back to you. And go ahead and do that two more times at your own pace. Really finding that breath movement connection. Very good. Coming back to a neutral position, we're gonna get some lateral stretches here. So maybe dropping the left arm down, take a deep breath in, reach the right arm up. And on your exhale, we're gonna open in the right side. Breathing here for a moment. Really creating space here for the lungs to expand. And then inhale, reach both arms above you. And then exhale, other side. Again, breathing deeply. And inhale, reaching the arms up, really creating space in the shoulders here. And then open mouth, exhale, releasing the arms down. Very beautiful. I want us to do one more exercise before we dive deep into our meditation together. Um, a lot of times, you know, in society, we're always looking down here because of electronics and technology or like reading books. So it's creating a lot of tension here in the throat region. So we're gonna be doing some opening into this area so that we can breathe more. So go ahead and place both of your palms on the sternum and we're gonna anchor that down. And then from here, you're going to gently lean the head back and it starts to create an opening in the front, the front of your neck. Mm -hmm. 
just breathing deeply, really connecting with the breath. And then gently release. Very, very good. Um, so there's many different ways you can position yourself for a meditation. For me, I like to sit on my knees with a pillow in between my legs. Or you can take a more traditional style on the sit bones, cross-legged position, maybe a pillow or a block to go underneath the sit bones. You can sit in a chair but just be mindful when you are sitting in the chair that you're not relaxing back into the chair. We want to find where we can be relaxed but supported in our seated position. So make sure you have that same supported spine as if you were sitting without a chair. You can also do meditations lying down, but just make sure that you're more extra aware of your experience so you don't fall asleep. However, it's okay if you fall asleep, whatever is meant to happen will happen. Um, we will be doing uh, the breathing techniques in our practice that will clear out any drainage or anything that might be happening in our nasal cavities. So make sure you have some tissues ready if you've had a runny nose lately. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started. <clears throat> so, Again, either lowering the gaze, or if you feel secure enough, you can go ahead and just close the eyes completely. And the first thing that we're going to do to help us settle into the body, into our space and our practice together is by focusing on the natural breath. That same breath that we have been breathing since birth and up until now. And notice how amazing it feels to just breathe and do nothing else. Start to deepen the breath. And just notice how everything is starting to simmer down and feel more still. And now inviting a deeper breath in, reaching through the crown of the head. And then exhale, blowing out the air. And allow your shoulders to relax down the back and away from your ears, but still finding that supported spine. Making sure our head isn't too far back, too far forward. Allow it to be an extension of the spine. And then from here we can gently drop the chin slightly. Relaxing the jaw and the tongue. the muscles in between the eyebrows. Just letting go of any tension. Feeling your 
connection to the ground. Noticing the clothes against your skin. Noticing the hands, wherever they're making contact with right now. Now moving that awareness into the sense of hearing. Maybe there's all these little different noises happening around you right now. And it's okay. It's okay that there's noise. Birds chirping. the air conditioning, maybe cars driving by, dogs barking in the distance, the sound of my voice. Notice how all of these sounds just pass by and it's peaceful. Everything's just kind of passing by, just like the clouds. They come and they go, and it's okay. Maybe noticing how we're settled a little deeper now. This is a very beautiful expression of living in the present moment, experiencing awareness, which is the acknowledgement of the whole of what's happening right now.
I want you guys to stay in your relaxed state, continuing the breathing that you've been doing. We seem to have had Abigail drop from the call, but it was at a pretty good time. I think most of us have just stayed dropped in to this presence that we've been cultivating for the last 10 minutes. We'll wait for her to return to the call and guide us through some more specific breathing patterns. She may very well have had her eyes closed and not noticed that she has dropped the call. So while you guys just keep breathing, I'm going to notify her with a private message. While you're in this experience, if you're noticing aches or pains in your body or discomfort, just be gentle with yourself. Expand the breath as gently as you need to. Try to fill those places in the body with the air that you're taking in and try to bring the light of your awareness to the pain and to the aches and let that awareness bring space to what hurts because the more big of a space that you can put that pain in, the smaller it will feel. And the more energy that you direct to it through your attention, the quicker it will heal. And so while we wait for Abigail to join us again, I'm going to take the opportunity to guide you through some specific types of expansion in your breathing that we can do right now. Maybe not exactly what Abby would have had for us, but it'd be a lot better than just stopping this blissed out vibe that we've got right now. It'd be better to just keep it going a bit longer. So. As you're in the rhythm of comfortable inhale and exhale and expanding that out, try to focus on putting that breath into the lower belly. As you inhale, allow that lower belly to expand out. And then as you transition smoothly into your exhale, allow the belly to be sucked in by that exhalation and even at the end give a little bit of a sucking in yourself and try to pull it in a little further not so that you're making yourself uncomfortable or tense but just so that you can really feel all the cavities in the torso starting at the lower belly and expanding upwards feel all those cavities and airways expand with each inhale Lengthening out the inhale and exhale each as far as is comfortable. A great goal to set for yourself is a 10 or 11 second inhale or exhale, but don't worry if you're not close to that right now. This is called diaphragmatic breathing. It's something you can do whether you're meditating actively in the moment or not. As you Fill that lower belly and the upper chest cavity with air in that inhale. Feel your shoulders pull down and back and your chest, chest rise and expand. And as you pull in that stomach during the exhale, 
See if you can feel that tingle along your spine. Feel those little electric pops and crackles as you're pulling in through that exhale. And now try to add in a pinching or closing on the pelvic floor. The muscle that you would squeeze if you were trying to stop yourself from going to the bathroom. While you exhale and pull in the belly, squeeze the pelvic floor gently like you're wringing the water out of a towel starting from the, t the bottom and wringing it upwards. And while you're in this process of expanding the belly and contracting it, just remember, keep the breath smooth if you can. It's okay if you notice some jerkiness and in your breathing, just pay attention to it and see if you can't make it a little smoother than it was when you started. If you're ever feeling disconnected from the body, even if you're standing up somewhere or you're in a chaotic place, just remember this diaphragmatic breath, expanding the belly as you inhale. Contracting, sucking in the belly, feeling the pelvic floor close and pinch on each exhale. Stimulating the vagus nerve that travels from the base of the brain all the way down to the tailbone. Connecting heaven and earth within yourself. Bringing the light of mind down into the lower body so that you can really feel your root chakra again. news we lost you like like eight minutes ago oh my god it's okay you dropped the call though just rejoin from the link i muted myself i've kept it going i kept the guided meditation going we just did some diaphragmatic breathing it's all flowing just great <laughs> just, great, just, just I, was, I was going pretty hard i believe you just drop back in um it was about where you started really relaxing us you didn't start any specific breath techniques but i did diaphragmatic breathing for them I, I explained that so that's kind of where we left off okay well i would love to pick it back up and just start over <laughs> hop hop in with that link and just rem realize that people that are still with us are still in a meditative state so just kind of like take over guiding from wherever you feel go good and now guys we have abigail back with us and we can continue with some of the what she's got for us in this uh, breathing and meditation practice thank you for rolling with us in through uh, unforeseen changes and really seeing how you can remain calm and you're the creator of your own state and we appreciate you for being here with us and we're going to continue totally deeper into this can you hear me well yeah you're perfect okay great so just keeping that really intimate connection with yourself that you're feeling right now. So we're going to use the visualization of an empty glass and imagine water is being poured into this glass, starting from the bottom and working its way up to the top. But we're going to be applying this act 
of filling, but with the body. So instead of filling with water, we're going to be filling our bodies with oxygen and this pranic life force energy. So go ahead and place one hand on the belly and one hand on the chest. Take a full breath in, full breath out. Inhaling through low belly, ribs, high chest, and exhaling through the nose. Inhaling low belly, ribs, high chest. And nice controlled exhale through the nose. Inhale low belly, ribs, high chest. And exhaling through the nostrils. Keep this breathing technique going at your own pace. Really finding a equal inhale, equal exhale to soothe the nervous system and activate a more rest and digest experience. So keeping that three part breath going. We're now going to inhale for a count of four. So inhaling one, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four. You can release the hands, but keep that three part breath going, inhaling for one, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, 
six, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, inhale, one, two, three, four, holding at the top for one, two, three, four, five, six, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, inhale, one, two, three, four, holding, one, two, three, four, five, six, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Open up, exhale, let it go. And now finding that natural breath again. Without any judgment, any labeling. Really embracing what you're feeling within and around yourself right now. Receiving, embodying, embracing. Noticing the clothes up against your skin. Tuning into all the different sounds happening outside of yourself. Notice the space to the right of you. Notice the space to the left. Moving that awareness five feet below you into the earth. Now shifting that awareness through the base of the spine, up the entire column, through the crown of the head and five feet above you. And dropping that energy back through the crown of the head into the heart center. And as we breathe through the heart, inviting that mantra back into you. Happy am I. Healthy am I, holy am I.
You may now gently flutter your eyes open if they're not already open. We are going to move into one more uh, meditation with a different breathing technique this time. So feel free to move or like stretch a little bit if you need to before you settle back down into practice. The next breathing technique we will be doing um, is a really powerful one. Um, it really helps clear out your sinuses and everything. So if you need any tissues or anything to keep handy, um, you may now go get those. Feel free to get some water or use the bathroom before we get started again. There we have you back now. I had forgotten to request you restart your video, but while we're in this little interlude, now we can see you again. Oh, great. Were you hearing my voice? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, great. <laughs> Nathan says, thank you for this. And I say thank you for joining us for this. We may be having another connection issue with Abby. As you can kind of see, she's sort of frozen on the screen there. So I'm going to call her up one more time and let her know. It's 11.11 where I'm at, which is pretty cool. Um, Abigail, rejoin us, please. and Bring it on home. I think we'll probably start to wind our way towards wrapping it up because of the connection issues. But it's been really good to have all of you with us and... I'm so happy to hear that it's been good for you all. It's a great opportunity now while we're waiting to get Abby back with us to go ahead and if you want to share what we've created here because those of us who weren't with us live could still benefit from the experience on a anytime, anywhere basis. Hey Abby, we, we dropped you again. It might be a problem with using video, so I'm gonna just actually take you off video so that we don't uh, possibly disrupt the internet connection. Uh, that would be great. But we, we can hear you loud and clear again, and we've had some people in the chat expressing gratitude. I feel the gratitude greatly, yes. and uh, I'd love to have a final breathing exercise and uh, ooh, and uh, your thoughts wrapping things up, and this has been yeah. beautiful. Yeah, it's been wonderful. I'm, I'm already looking forward to the future of doing more of these. <laughs> I'd love to do them w yeah. with you sometimes. I mean, you could definitely do this by yourself, but it's really fun to do together, and I appreciate yeah. you including me. Totally. Well, I think um, we can go ahead and get started again. So just to help everybody remember the things you might need for this practice, some tissue. Um, if you need to use the bathroom or go get some water or do anything to help you feel more situated and comfortable, please do so. Um, even throughout our practices together, if nature calls, you know, it's not going to get any easier the longer you hold it. So, <laughs> you know, feel free to uh, step away or do anything that you might need to do that's happening around you. Um, there is no right or wrong way um, when participating in, in the field of awareness together. So it's okay um, to step away and take care of your duties if you need to. 
but I, I have loved this uh, so far. Even when I got tuned out, you know, I was still interacting in that space with you guys. <laughs> um, but yeah, we are gonna go ahead and get started again. So maybe returning to the position um, that you were initially in for our first session together. <clears throat> so Chance, I really want you to, um, you know, be their model since my, uh, since my camera's doing weird things, um, we're gonna be doing the alternate nostril breathing technique. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with Vishnu Mudra. Do you know that Mudra? You don't? So um, all you do is uh, take your right hand and curl the index and uh, middle finger in towards the palm. Yes, correct. So kind of show everybody what that looks like. This is the hand mudra that we're gonna be doing with our next breathing technique. Um, just so everyone can get a quick little visual. <laughs> yeah, it's okay if your fingers go a little crazy. <laughs> it's a very unusual hand gesture for us to do since we never do this. Um, but yeah, just keep that in mind. Um, I will instruct you when to activate that hand mudra and where to place it. So we're gonna start by dropping back into the experience so finding your seated position wherever you comfortably sit and go ahead and lower your gaze or completely close the eyes. And we're gonna tune back in by finding that intelligent, always occurring life-giving breath. And start to deepen your breathing. Really acknowledging how amazing it feels to bring more life into the body. Any sort of conscious breathing is probably the best way you can say thank you to the body. <laughs> And alignment is always super important when doing these breathing practices. So let's find that tall spine again, reaching through the crown of the head towards the heavens, feeling your sit bones root deep into the ground, creating that opposing energetic pull from the center of your being. Shoulders are relaxed down the back. Relaxing the jaw and the tongue. The muscles in the face, the forehead, the eyebrows. Let's go ahead and take one more nurturing breath to really settle us in. Deep inhale. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. And now creating Vishnu Mudra, taking the right hand, curling the index finger and the middle finger in towards the palm. Go ahead and place your thumb and close it with the right nostril. Take a deep breath in through the left nostril. Exhale, left nostril. So keeping the right one closed. Inhale, left.
Exhale, left. Really finding that length and depth with your breathing. Inhale, left. Exhale, left. Keep that going at your own pace. Really feeling into the whole left side of the body when you do this left nostril breathing. Inhaling left nostril, closing it with the ring and pinky finger, exhale right nostril, inhale right nostril, exhale right. Inhale, right. Exhale, right. Keep that going at your own pace. Remember to breathe really slowly as you find length and depth. There's no rush to be anywhere. Really allow yourself to dive deep into all the sensations being felt with this breath. Inhaling right, closing the right nostril, exhale left, inhale left nostril, closing the left, exhale right. Inhale right. Closing the right, exhale left. Keep this going at your own pace.
because of our connection problems, I'm just getting up to check if Abby is still with us. I think we may have potentially dropped again. Yeah, but here she is. Hey, you're back again. <laughs> we only lost you for we only lost you for about 40 seconds there. You were quick coming back. That's okay. Well, <laughs> as long as we got to all do our alternate breathing together, I mean, that's all that really matters. I think so. Have that space. I think we've done a lot here. This has been great. Yeah, it has. It's been really great. Um if everyone uh, wants to, we're kind of open to any discussion of anybody's experiences that they may have had, maybe any questions. Um, I did see that somebody was saying that um, they were experiencing some body aches, which is uh, totally normal um, for us to feel whenever we're in a seated position for a long time, because um, it's... Uh, you know, it's a little unnatural for us uh, to sit for that long because we're in a society that requires so much movement. We're always moving and, and doing something. So whenever we get ourselves to a state like this where we're sitting for long periods of time, it is very normal to feel uh, kind of unwelcoming sensations like in the joints or, or in any uh, part of your body. It's very normal. But um, yeah, if you're still tuned in with us, um, feel free to ask any questions in the comments. Uh, we would be happy to answer them for you. Let's take a risk and turn your video back on for the yeah. for closing out here. Let's, let's take a risk. Let's do it. I think I think we're gonna keep you till the end. I have a good feeling about it. <laughs> As far as I'll just share a little bit of my personal experience. I think that this type of breathing really opens up sensitivity to one's body. And that's part of why the aches and pains may be coming in occasionally. But what we really want to cultivate is that sensitivity because connecting okay. the intelligence of the body to the light of the mind is really the, the major arcana or arcanum. It's that's that the greatest secret of any magical practice or spiritual tradition is tech always contained within techniques and things that actually accomplish that increasing of sensitivity because if we connect our light of mind to the body intelligence it actually enhances our senses on all levels the colors we see become brighter the tastes we taste become sweeter and life itself we get more juice out of that that thing as we're squeezing it so the breath is definitely the control point for for maintaining that bridge and that connection and anything that you need in the reality to survive the mo the measure of how bad you need it and how often you need it will tell you just how much of the divine is connected into that thing and the breath is like the thing so <laughs> i seem to have made a mistake and totally caused abby to abby to fall off the call again with putting her on video but She'll call back in in just a minute and we'll wrap this up. I'm going to check the comments where we have a few more statements from our listeners. <laughs> hey, Nathan, can you rephrase that? You say how to open after meditating for some time. How to open your how to open your what? What was the uh, specific thing you're asking there? And we'll see about an answer to that. I'm sure Abigail will be hopping right back in too to say something hey <laughs> and next time we do this we'll try to see if we can get you on a wired connection instead of well you're probably on wi-fi right now yes yeah if we can get you plugged in that usually solves this type of thing but you know we'll do it again um nithin was asking in the chat how to open after meditating for some time but he says open your blank he may have forgotten the word i think he may have just typed it in though Oh, how to open the eyes. Um, I think it's, uh, I mean, whatever feels natural for you in that moment. Um, I like to help everyone exit by gently fluttering the eyes open. Um, just because we've had our eyes closed for a longer period of time. Um, I think all of the light and saturation of our, our vision 
in our field uh, can be a little um, alarming sometimes. So I think um, either practicing in a more darker lit room or just gently opening the eyes to welcome in light. Um, I think that's a great way to exit a meditation if that's um, what you're asking. It sounds like it for sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, there's also meditations you can do where you can just leave the eyes open, um, which is actually more intense than it sounds. <laughs> uh, it because it's a uh, you know it's hard not to grab on to the um, the physical stimulus that's happening in the world around us. So it actually is a lot more challenging to meditate with the eyes open. But it's also something really fun to get into. You, you'll kind of see a bunch of cool things happen if you keep your eyes open um, for a long period of time on one focal point. <laughs> yeah, you, you definitely will. And then you don't only have to be still. One thing, one thing about the breathing practice is both the diaphragmatic breathing we did and the one nostril alternative breathing. Any of that can be done on a walking basis quite easily. Right. And even I find that through Qigong and yoga practices or even just basic stretching, if I do that diaphragmatic breath where I try to fill up the lower belly and on the inhale and then pinch the pelvic floor and squeeze the belly, uh, suck it in during the exhale, that actually will facilitate you getting into stretches more deeply. So kind of let up on the stretch as you inhale and expand and then as you exhale and squeeze in the belly, that's when you go deeper into the stretch. And I find I can get into things like forward folds way right. quicker by doing that type of breath and anything that you're doing, as it turns out, you can focus on breathing instead of focusing on doing that thing. And it'll go on autopilot and go real smooth for the most part. <laughs> the breath is actually like all you really need to be doing and everything else is a flow that you're in. Completely. Um, what I really like about the breathing, especially when done um, in postures, um, it, it'll let you know whenever you're too deep in a posture too, because if your lungs um, have any difficulty expanding, then that's when you know you're a little too far in a twist or, or a fold. It's always you know connecting with your breath first. Um, that's where you get all your answers um, to all that you do. Both That's on something and off I gotta hear too, because I go I go too hard with everything. I try to force it, and I try yeah. to be like I'm the I'm tough. I can do a super huge stretch <laughs> here, but if you're not able to breathe, you're missing a lot of the benefit. So definitely be mindful of that. Totally, um, Abigail. It, I I kind of need to wrap it up actually, but yeah, I could totally. leave, I could leave you going, and I can walk away if you want to continue speaking. But uh, other otherwise, we could also just kind of close things off with our our finishing up thoughts and intend to do this again real soon yeah we can go ahead and wrap it up too i um, i'm sure we all got some things that we need to go work on today maybe some more deep relaxation um away from any computer monitors or anything unfortunately not for me i got a whole full day of podcasting ahead <laughs> oh my gosh that's awesome but i do love it actually i'm about to record an interview with someone who does a youtube channel all about internal cleansing and fasting and detoxing and he's got all kinds of different methods and things he's tried and he reports back honestly on just the consciousness expansion that comes along with that so that's the next thing after meditating is purify the body great <laughs> y'all be sure to tune into that that sounds wonderful yes yeah i'm not sure when it'll be released but stay tuned in a couple of weeks i'm sure okay great well thank you everybody for tuning in with us it was a really magical experience well maybe next time we'll have a better um control over the connections um so we won't run into any technical malfunctions but oh we yeah. did have one quick last minute question and i want to oh. i do I'll, I'll field it if that's okay nithin, oh, go for it nithin go is asking it. how to activate the chakras how to do that and actually i did just sort of hint at this it has to do with the purification of the body through cleansing and fasting in a nutshell, you can look at your chakras as like filters or even lenses that are on top of the projector. Like if your consciousness is the holographic projector that's spraying out the entire reality in a 360 degree dome around you, then the different lenses that are putting out different elements of that reality and creating parts of that hologram or colors or flavors in the spectrum, those lenses can be uh, clogged up or 
unclear, smeared, and all that comes from the fact that these chakras are connected to organs in the body, or they are the organs technically. And just like your filters in your home, if you've never cleaned a filter or changed it out for a water filter or your heater or air, air conditioning, whatever it's caught is still there. So that goes for your, your chakra centers too. They're actually always active or you'd be dead. So they're, they're online and they're active, but it's just a matter of if you can feel them well and part of being able to feel them is if they're clear or not. So if only a little bit of light is getting through there because they're kind of clogged or calcified, if, if you will, then you won't be having the full experience of an active version of that chakra. You will be having the experience of the inverted version of that chakra. So you're always feeling your chakras and whatever emotional state that you're in that may be difficult or negative can actually be a clue if you kind of get into researching what associates with what chakra as to what organ may be having trouble. And then you can think about it like, well, if my kidneys are the thing that are causing me the type of uh, self-confidence issues I'm having right now, it may be then something that's something's bothering my kidneys, like I'm drinking too much coffee or drinking too much alcohol. I guess there's a lot of ways to, to pinpoint this, but you got to be your own alchemist and figure out the balance of the different elements in your body. So one, one big thing that can really help blast open those doors of perception and activate the chakras into a high level of spin would be internal cleansing like I just touched on. And I've made a little bit of content about that that I could happily link you to if you're interested. Uh, otherwise, it's a good topic to research on your own um, ways to cleanse and purify the body. Your diet's going to do a, a lot of that for you, which is great. But if you've had the typical American diet most of your life, you very likely could use a type of break glass in case of emergency method, which would be some kind of heavy duty cleanse with a, a fasting component, ideally. And it's something worth doing just for the very sake of realizing that you can go without some of the stuff that you feel like you have to have in, in terms of food and you can get by on a whole different whole different diet for a while. I really like the Roman philosopher and writer Seneca who actually would do something I think he did it like once a year where he would eat only rice and beans for and eat the cheapest food that he could buy for like a full month and wear nothing but like tattered uh, decrepit robes and not wear nice clothing even though he was a super wealthy guy he would do that for several weeks out of each year just to constantly remind himself that he does all he needs comes from within and he doesn't need any of the external stuff even though he's he had it all so that's uh, something to remember as well as a big benefit of the meditating because we don't need to be entertained and a big benefit of the fasting because we don't actually need to be satisfied by anything in the food realm um, it's actually our 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 choice to be satisfied is, is and be content is really the main thing that's the control driver. Completely. Um, uh, also, another great way to help activate your chakra system and get in touch with it, any sense of like purification, whether that be, you know, exercise, yoga, breathing techniques, you know, drinking just water, you know, eating good foods like he was just touching on, um, you know, anything that really you know is genuinely good for you um, is a great way to balance everything about who you are, including the energetic system. So yeah, listen to your intuition for sure. You, you know what you need, definitely. But uh, Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we got a lot more that we could do, you and I together to yeah. collaborate and cross pollinate and your people Love meet it. my people and <laughs> this is going to be a future thing i hope it's been really totally. cool we're gonna have to have you on for a full-on two-hour recorded episode so let's yes. be in touch about that and get you on my my schedule for sure i would love that i'm gonna go have a yummy breakfast though <laughs> it's been waiting for me oh Can't yeah wait. man it's more of a me brunch too. at this hour but i'm cool with it yeah but thank you everyone for tuning in um yeah, feel free to message um, me or Chance at any time if you got any questions about anything regarding meditation. No doubt. Uh, Please yeah. do. Thank you. Thank you, Abigail. It's cool to work together or play together, really. Play, yeah. play work. Yeah, work. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You have an awesome day, everyone. I'll kick off this live stream and we'll catch you on the next one. Oh, I guess I can remind everyone the Interverse podcast is on 
every podcast playing platform, YouTube, Spotify, SoundCloud, iTunes. Go to interversepodcast.com and subscribe to any of those places. Hit me up on any social media where you can find the interverse and uh, look for Abigail at Hooper of Hyrule as well to catch some of her awesome performance stuff on Instagram and Facebook. And uh, more to come from this lovely goddess in the future as she continues to evolve and transcend into the teacher, healer, facilitator that she is born to be. I love to watch it and love to be connected and be friends with you. So thank you so much again. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Have a beautiful day.